Hi, welcome back to Kit and Crochet. Today's video, I'm going to show you how to do a linked double crochet. So this is just a row of single crochet just to give us something to work into. I'm going to show you how to do a linked double crochet. And for a linked double crochet, I like to do my turn chain a little bit differently. So you can just do a chain three and turn, like for a regular double crochet, but I'm going to do a single crochet and then a chain instead. So it gives it a little more beef here on the bottom, so it looks a little bit more like a double crochet. So I'm gonna turn it around. To do a linked double crochet, you're gonna go through this bar on your double crochet. Instead of yarning over, I'm gonna insert my hook through this bar, yarn over and pull a loop through, and then insert my hook in the next stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop. Now I'll finish the double crochet normally. So this is a regular double crochet. It's easier to see than on the turn chain. You've got this sideways bar coming across. So that's the one I'm going to insert my hook into. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Then insert my hook in the next stitch. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Now I'll finish the double crochet normally. So this stitch makes it so that you don't have the holes in between your double crochet stitches because they are linked together, hence the name linked double crochet. So I'll show you again. Insert my hook through this bar. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Insert my hook in the next stitch. Yarn over and pull up a loop. And finish the double crochet normal. In the sidebar. In the next stitch. So I don't do any yarn overs before I start. My yarn over basically happens through this bar to link them together. And it also makes it, it gives it a look that looks a lot like the way Tunisian crochet can look. So if you're looking for kind of a different texture on your work, this is a great way to do it. Or if you just really like making beanies and you don't like how those gaps in the double crochet look when it's stretched, this can be a great option. It's not difficult, it's just a little different. So. One last time, insert your hook oops, through that middle bar of your double crochet, and then in the next stitch, and then finish the double crochet like normal. So that is linked double crochet. You can see when I stretch it, I'm not getting those holes in my double crochet like I normally would because I've linked it together in the middle. In the back you don't see that bar, so if you do multiple rows of this, you're going to have this bar texture on every other row. Now if you do it in the round, um, you'll have that on every row. So this is a beanie that I made for my son, and I started it with linked double crochet here. Sorry, I don't mind the seam, I was experimenting with different ways to uh, do a seam nicely. But this is these are rows of linked double crochet worked in the round, so you can see that every row has that middle bar going across through the middle of the row. Um, but that way, when you stretch the hat, you still see a little bit of space in between the rows, but you don't really see those big gapping holes. You do more on this texture, but on the actual just linked double crochet, it's much less holy than a regular double crochet would be. Okay, so I hope you like this tutorial, linked double crochet, give it a try, maybe you'll find a new favorite stitch. Happy crocheting!